It's something I've wanted for a long time, this turntable for the, my Tormek. Uh, it allows, it's going to allow me to turn it 180 degrees without actually picking it up and turning it, which I've been doing in the past. So um, I'm looking forward to getting, getting that set up, uh, getting my Tormek set up on this. Then the other thing I bought was the new uh, Diamond Stone. I've had it for a couple of weeks, but I had to wait. I think it was uh, four or five weeks to get this. They were on back order from Sweden. So um, here it is finally, and I finally now have the uh, opportunity to uh, put it on my on my uh, setup and see how well it works. I've always been a, a, a fan of when you grind an angle of keeping that angle you know like on a chisel 25 degrees keeping that bevel flat where before I was using the wheel and you put that uh, concave um, surface on it and then when you put your micro bevel on there there's not a lot of metal uh, behind that micro bevel so I'm what I plan on doing is taking all my tools chisels, plain irons, um, whatever else I can think of that needs a flat bevel on it and um, and do it because you're able to use the side of the stone here instead of the uh, the top. You're, you can use the top as well but or the round portion. I'm just uh, mainly going to concentrate on using the flat part of the stone or the wheel first. So let me get things set up and we'll see how this thing looks. I forgot to mention that the wheel I bought is a 600 grit. It's it's uh, middle of the road. I believe the other one is 1,000 and like a 400, something like that. I'd have to double check on that. I just want to turn this on and see how true this spins. It looks a little deceiving because of that of the uh, powder that's on there but it is it is really tracking nice forgot to show you the other component that's gonna be nice too Here's a little tip if you're using this stone and you want this whole side lubricated just I just use a toothbrush get it wet and then just kind of walk the, the, the water or the lubricant over from the end to the middle and it also helps you clean off the uh, residue from uh, sharpening as well so you can see I got that nice and lubricated now and that'll stay that way as long as you're um, moving your, your uh, iron back and forth across there, bringing the lubricant from the edge to the inside. All right, here we go, start to finish. This is an IBC uh, plane out of iron out of my Wood River. I'll put this in here.
All right, let's see what happens. I think I'm grinding on the front side here, it looks like it anyway. Yeah, I know I am. Just double check it here. Yep. And I'm I'm all the way across already. I'm square. But I haven't removed that micro bevel that's already on there yet, so I'm gonna keep going until I do that because I won't have a burr unless I do. And now we're getting there. And you can see I've, I've almost taking the whole thing off but yeah I can even see the burr a little bit more no need really to do this but I'm gonna do it anyway square here which I am over to my stones The reason I did that one more time is it looked like there was a little bit of a wire hanging over here and now that's gone. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so into my jig. Lay it on the stone. Nice and solid. Make sure we got both these stones in here. Okay. I'm going to pull back. And you can almost see what's happening. You can kind of read the water there. Now, both strokes. shiny all the way across nice and uniform as well 
few more strokes. And then I, as I get, as I do this, I get lighter and lighter with my pressure here. It's just the weight of the weight of the jig and the weight of the iron pushing down on that stone. And that is beautiful. All right. I'm going to throw this in my plane and I'll show you how, how it cuts. Let's see, total time, less than, less than 10 minutes. All right, I got it set up now. That's as fine as as I've ever gotten. That is that is something else right there. I'll dial it up just a little bit. Beautiful. Thanks for watching.